All right, all right, all right. We are live at the state's attorney's event. And you know Shorty being Shorty, I already got warnings after warnings. I'm at the state's attorney's event, but I'm promoting my event on July the... 8th, July the 9th, whatever day this is, y'all come out, <laughs> y'all come out, <laughs> and I'm going to be talking about July the 8th, I said 5 o'clock, because at 5 o'clock I'm going to build a toilet, and at 6 o'clock you can come in the building, I'm going to be calling potty training politicians, we're going to talk about all the corruption in Baltimore, we're going to talk about all the wrong in Baltimore, don't run, we're going to talk about Hassan, Hassan, how long you been knowing me? 15, 20 years. Has my has my conversation ever changed? Has not. My, my, my message ain't changed at all, right? I see it send them to jail, right? I see it send white people to jail, right? For 15 years. I've been saying send white people to jail. <laughs> yeah. It ain't you. If you ain't do nothing wrong, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Hey. <laughs> all right. I'm up here at the event. And they only told me two or three times not to act out. They got the sheriff here. I spoke to her first. <laughs> I don't want no problem. That's the mayor's office for homelessness. I spoke to Mr. White and he spoke to me. And the other person, they always speak to me. I, I, I'm everybody's guy, sometime or another. <laughs> All right. And they're getting ready to do this event up here at Compton State. The Compton State. That's Doc Cheatham. You got a scarce crowd. You got more politicians than you got people. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it real. It's up. It's almost six o'clock, and ain't no people in. The, ain't no people here. That, ain't that how you keep a secret? <laughs> Remember back in the '60s, you used to have them meetings. We didn't miss them meetings, did we? Didn't miss them meetings. You didn't have to tell us where to go. You just said it was coming. That's how, that, that's how that worked. This was publicized and ain't nobody here. Hey, look. When I publicize something, everybody show up. All I got to do is fire up the grill. But what you do, you got the... All right, here you go. You got the haves versus the have-nots, right? And you got Beta, Kappa, Phi, Sigma sororities eating off the black community. All right, you can, you can all you want. Martin Luther King told me about the campaign of public shame. And he told me about the haves and the have-nots, all right? And if you look at our police department, if you look at our prisons, you'll see, you understand what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? We, we, like Billie Holiday, we, this is Baltimore. This is Billie Holiday's song, Fruit from the Forbidden Tree. We traded a penitentiary for the plantation, cotton for cocaine, and you the cash crop. I'm too old for anything to grow. You feel me? So like I said, this is the makeup of the room. You got more vendors than you do people. That's a sign. That's Keith Daniels. I got a present for Keith. You seen it? I showed Keith the present. You want to see the present, Keith? Huh? Here. I don't want you to say I don't care about you. All right. Remember that day? No, 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 no. You can see it. Don't touch it. You, you, you buy it. You can read. You, you take a good picture, Shorty. You, I, you do too. You take a good see, look, look, look at this. See that? That's Fox 45. They don't do no more live feeds downtown. They don't do no more town halls around town. It's always just three people on the candidacy forum. Y'all don't do nothing for the people. You do it for self-serving demigods. Yo, how many politicians did y'all, how many politicians did Fox 45 pay for this year? When they paid for Sheila Dixon, how much money did they lose? Damn, silence is consent. Remember that. That's Fox 45. And like I said, that's Get Shorty, and everybody knows Shorty. And we're talking about Monopoly, the cheater's edition. This event ain't started yet, and this room ain't made up with nobody. So if you miss this event, come to my event. We're going to have all this on public display. That's Ray Lewis and Shorty. That's David Trone, and these is movie releases, because I was making a movie about Baltimore and the money behind the machine. This is Baltimore. This is our black communities. You feel me? This is our black communities. This is our sports team. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. I got a teddy bear, so somebody care. You feel me? I got my teddy bear from over there, so somebody care. All right? I ain't got no hard feelings. I got kidnapped by the state of Maryland for making a documentary about their corruption. You at the mayor's office? That's what Mayor Brandon Scott. You want to see Mayor Brandon Scott book?
Come here, it's like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. You're going to learn something. Ask Keith, he learned something. Yeah. This is the mayor's office. See that? See, look, look. Who that? Ain't that your boss right here? Curiosity going to kill you. You know you want to look. <laughs> we talking about the money behind the machine. The money Fox 45 paid Scott Schellenberger. The money Fox 45 paid Ivan Bates and Sheila Dixon. They wasted a lot of money, and now they're going after the dirt bike boys the way they went after the squeegee kids. They're trying to make them public enemy number one. Shorty, pull your mask up? No, Shorty don't know how to shut up. That's the rule. Baltimore's biggest loser. He couldn't even win a dog race. That's Xavier Conway, and he in the building. And that's Xavier Conway. That's Ivan Bates, and that's Ivan Bates. And we're talking about Ivan Bates and his policies. His policies to lock up black Baltimore. You feel me? So if they got something to say, I hope they do. Because like I said, this room empty as hell. This room empty as hell and the security just came in. I seen it. Watch, watch out, look at you. Get ready to... Don't put me out yet. Yeah. This is the microphone and I'm going to be first. I'm just trying to be a part of something. <laughs> oh, I let you, I mean, I, I, I can sit my back over there and say first. I don't even need to get by the microphone. Okay. Say no more, I got you. All right, security is here, so that means that Ivan Bass is in the back room. <laughs> <laughs> I know my job. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing all right. <laughs> Now they in the back room with Fox 45, like I said. Fox 45 paid for all access to these candidates. Hey, Ivan, how you doing? Hey, Ivan. How y'all doing? I was just speaking to the man. I, was, I, I got ribs, and if y'all want to eat, y'all know you got to pay me. I like to work, but not for fun. You get paid to be security, don't you? I'm, man, I got family members I charge. I make my kids work. They don't eat for free. You are VIP. That means you get a special price. <laughs> you know the VIP, when you pop bottles, that's an extra $500. You sure you want to be VIP or you want to work with the cook? If you work with the cook, you get to eat all the food you want for free. All you have to do is to work. I got to fill out my application. Oh, no. All you got to do is talk to me. We don't do no paperwork. All right. Come on. <laughs> I got to feed you by the pound. I'll be out of business. There you go. <laughs> huh? That, you, they don't, don't they charge you by the pound when you go to OK Corral? No. Don't they put that plate on the, on the scale? No. Oh, they do it somewhere. <laughs> change your product, don't change your hustle. <laughs> like I said, look at the makeup of the room. There ain't nobody here. You see Fox 45 got total access. They paid that. They paid for that. All that money they gave Ivan Bates, they paid for that. Oh, they did? Oh, yeah, they did. They paid the rule to get out, and then they paid him to jump back in. Oh, and, they did? Yes. Him and David, what, David Sinclair, so David Smith? We got to do something about that, right? Pardon me? We got to do something about that, right? Hey, you know, racism don't work without black cooperation. Right. So if they paying somebody to do something, they can't call it racism when a black person is doing it to you. Why can't they? Because a white person paid the black person to do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they did that. They call shielding that. You know what I'm saying? You and me know being me and you know what Jim Crow look like. That's why we have so many fresh people. Ain't we? Dang. Ain't we? How come white people ain't going to jail? <laughs> you know why? Why? Because black people falling on the sword. They, they, they turn their heads all the way when it comes You ain't gotta turn their heads when they control the court and they control the money. But then when they, when they come to us, oh Lord, they don't know not how to do it. But the main thing about me is what are they going to do about the guns coming into the state? Somebody if they're going to end the war on drugs, if they don't end the war on drugs, them guns going to keep on coming. Right. But ain't nobody said end the war on drugs. Huh? going to need you to calm down, okay? I'm talking to her. I'm just saying. I, I, get, I, I, I get put out. I, I take I my chances. That, for me, please. Mm -hmm. Man, you good, right? We good, but uh, sometimes good ain't good. I know, but <laughs> I, I understand you. You understand me. I understand. We want you be here to participate. In I'm not life. gonna. This, this is a dog and pony show. That's good, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna get what I'm gonna get. I'm having this young lady tell me about history. She telling me about history. All right. All right. She telling me about history. All right. You see what I mean? Let me let you go.